What's up, it's Marco, Sage of Soccer, and today I want to talk about a growing sentiment that I've seen in the U.S. men's national community regarding a few players, and that's that if their career has stalled over in Europe, they should move back to the MLS in order to restart their career. I've seen this regarding Matthew Hoppe mostly recently, but I've also seen it with players like Nicholas Giacchini and Ethan Horvath, and I really don't understand this thinking at any level. I understand how the fan base feels, because if you aren't playing week in, week out, and the club doesn't really see you as a value commodity, I can understand wanting a player to get out. After we've seen cases like uh, all of the LA players who went over to Europe recently, like Kobe Foster Hernandez, they go over to Wolfsburg and then things don't work out. I understand feeling fear for someone like Kevin Paradis, but keep in mind that that's a perfectly normal thing. When a club assigns a young player from a new league, it typically takes time before they're integrated into the team. And if it isn't a truly big money signing, a lot of times it could take a long time to get playing time regularly. And that's okay. I think a problem that we have is we have a huge microscope on our young players right now because, well, our young players kind of have to lead us right now. Our veteran group of players really isn't good. So when you have someone like Ricardo Pepe, who might just be our best striker at 18, 19, when he's not playing much in the Bundesliga, that's kind of, that's a big deal to us. But when you take a step back and look at, okay, what 2003 players are playing regularly in the top flight of football for, let's say a country like England? Jude Bellingham, a world-class talent, Harvey Elliott, and my man Carney from Aston Villa, whose last name I'm not going to try to pronounce right now. That's three guys playing regularly in the top flight. So when we have Ricardo Pepe getting regular minutes for Augsburg, and when we have Kevin Paradis at least getting a little bit of time off the bench for Wolfsburg, I feel like we underestimate how big of a deal that is, and how far along that these players are. Like, a lot of clubs in Europe, like, take the Premier League, young players are still young when a lot of U.S. men's national team fans would be writing them off. Eze, uh, Mark Gahey, we have a lot of players at clubs like Crystal Palace who would not even be on a USA youth national team, but are clearly young players and developing. Tyreek Mitchell as well, throw him in there. And it's perfectly okay if they're not getting playing time right away. And even if it doesn't look like they're going to be at a club that really works out for them, Loans are perfectly reasonable. It works out for a good amount of players. It's not perfect, and I can understand why we don't want that after we've seen guys like Matt Miazga and Eric Palmer Brown get caught up in loan armies of their respective clubs. But, again, it's perfectly fine. It helps players develop. Going back to Crystal Palace, Connor Gallagher has been playing great, and now it looks like he'll be getting a chance with Chelsea. I would definitely be okay if Matthew Hoppe went on a loan to a lower division Spanish club, or maybe went to a different club in England, in uh, Europe, going to somewhere like the Netherlands, or the Bundesliga again, maybe even dropping down a level. All that can do well and help him grow as a player without needing to go back to the MLS, which, again, there's nothing wrong with being a player in the MLS, but when it's just not that high a quality of league and even if it's not regular Matthew Hoppe got to start against Real Madrid this year that's an experience that you can't get in the MLS even if he goes to somewhere like Scotland or Austria he will be playing against a club like Red Bull Salzburg Celtic Rangers like it's an experience that you that's really valuable and I don't think you need to resort to going back to the MLS and even if it does Will it work out? I mean, I think we've seen uh, Zach Steffen. He wasn't playing much in Europe. He went back to Columbus Crew, got his career back on track, went over to Man City. Like, it can work out. But at the same time, it could be Josie Altidore. You could leave your club in Europe, go to the MLS, get complacent. Michael Bradley happened with him as well. Well, I think Bradley was just taking a payday, but this, but I really don't think it's necessary. I mean... Even if you're not the best club, Haji Wright's a good example of what can happen if you stick out in Europe. He had a couple of bad club experiences. He ended up going to Denmark and now Turkey, and he's doing very well. He's probably going to get a U.S. men's national team call-up. 
what what would he be if he went back to the MLS? Like, best case scenario, Brian White? I mean, we think that getting the being in the MLS does grant you a lot more opportunities. Well, being in the MLS does grant you a lot more opportunities. We don't just think that. But it's not a guarantee to get called up. And it really limits how good you can be as a player, in my opinion. I think we see a bit of a quality cap in the MLS and a lot of the most talented players in the league are really just there for a paycheck so that's besides the point but I just wanted to say is that keep in mind that for someone like Matthew Hoppe he's a young player at Mallorca going through an injury riddled season and he's consistently making the bench he's not being frozen out of the team and next year he could easily take that step forward he could go out on loan to another club, or maybe he even just goes to a different team in Europe. Going to Atlanta United is not something he needs to do. Nicholas Giacchini, it's his first year at a new club in Montpellier. He was getting a lot of good game time, and well, one, he's only there on loan, so he could just leave, go back to the French League Duh, where he would get a lot more playing time. It's not really necessary for him to go. And Ethan Horvath, even though I'm... I would like it if Zach Steffen, Matt Turner got loan moves to the MLS to stay in form going into uh, the World Cup here. It's not something you need to do. You could find playing time at a ton of different clubs. It doesn't have to be in the MLS. And I just wanted to say that because I feel like we're just forgetting. Like It's not one or the other. It's not you make it at Chelsea or you have to go back to the MLS. There are tons of leagues in Europe at least 20 really, or at least 15 really strong leagues where you could go to a club and perform at a very high level. And I feel like we need to remember that because it's not necessary to go back to the MLS. And yeah, that's all I really want to say for this video. Hope you understand what I'm saying. This isn't a shot at the MLS. It's just there are more than one option. And yeah, that's all I have to talk about. See ya.